Welcome to Car Talk. This is not talking about cars, this is talking inside of a car. Today's topic is about owning your work level. And what I mean by that is, some people work a whole lot, some people work very little, some people work not at all. And all of these things are okay. I'm not here to preach or tell you to work more or to work less or to do anything. What I'm here to say is that, own it. And when you start to own it and be aware of how little or how much you work, it allows you to analyze what you might want to change or want to keep the same. If you are the kind of person that has a some corporate desk type of job and you spend three hours a day watching cat videos and surfing Facebook and tweeting and checking your snaps and all this, that's perfectly fine if you're cool with that. However, if you're frustrated that you might not be getting the level you want to get out of your work output or out of your advancements in such a job, that could be a factor. If you're an entrepreneur, such as myself, founding, starting, growing a business, and you spend a whole lot of time looking at cat videos and checking your snaps and Instagram, all the distractions that we have in life, and then can't realize and can't understand why your business is not thriving and growing, you might need to reanalyze that. Of course, if you are content and have the job you like and the right amount of distractions that make you perfectly happy and you're great, you already got it, you're there. So congratulations, and I'm really am happy for you if you are where you're at, if you're where you want to be in life. But many people are not. Many people want to have a better job, a higher paying job, start a business, run a business, grow a business, uh, whatever the case may be. And this applies to personal things too. If you wanna be an awesome guitar player, you have to practice a lot. If you look at the people that are the top tier of anything, sports, music, business, speaking, anything, they are people that spend an inordinate amount of time and effort perfecting that craft. And the, mo the most talent in the world is not gonna make you top tier if you don't match that with incredibly dedicated time and effort to getting better and better and better. And then once you're good, you keep going and get better. Then once you're better, you keep going and get better than that. You're never satisfied. That's that kind of growth mentality I talked about on a previous car talk. So what I'm saying today is, I'm not saying to work more, I'm not saying to work less. If you don't have enough work-life balance and you're content enough, maybe work a little bit less and enjoy more of your life in ways you want to enjoy it. That's cool too. But if you are not happy, if you're not where you want to be, you need to be honest and look at the kind of work you do, the kind of work you don't do, and realize maybe that is a factor of why you're not where you want to be at. And that is why you need to own the amount of work that you do. Car Talk, Tyler Douthat.